Seas are stormy, the wind is up. White horses and radio runners. All the fishing boats are coming in. Even old salt dogs won't bear their teeth with us. The horizon's a mess of cloud, pulling on ropes to bring sails down. Your face gon' be my must here. The thought of you and I long to be safe. White hearts. Vertigo, what a great word. Um, as you said that, I was thinking about anticipation. Vertigo is all about anticipation and being overwhelmed by anticipation of something that hasn't yet happened and is about to happen. And perhaps the word apprehension comes to mind as well. Some of those poems are very much concerned with apprehension in the sense of to apprehend worldly materials, the world that we're living within. Um, but also your own apprehension at never quite being able to um, pin down your experience. There's, there's a great futility in trying to attach language to the world, which is always outracing you. Experience is always outrunning you. And there's a, there's a disjunction to me between the way we try and describe things and the experiences that we're having sonically or sensually or whatever. Um, so that apprehension that we'll never quite capture our experience or we'll never be able to contain it um, perhaps goes with the more perceptual concept of trying to come to terms with what you're seeing and um, things like that. I love reading aloud. I love just the sonic quality of reading aloud I think can be quite mesmerising. And one thing that I probably wasn't aware of when I began writing was the, I think this is probably true for a lot of poetry, that's part of the form, but the extent to which sonic um, harmony drives some of those works. There are repeating pattern sequences within a lot of the poems that to me seem like riffs or scales or hooks, a hook line in a song that is coming up over and over again. Um, and I probably am not conscious of making those sonic choices, but I'm, I'm, I'm aware now that they probably are driven by my interest in, um, in sound and space and how, I, I think in, in terms of the, the poetry and music, I think they are probably more closely related than sometimes I've wanted them to be. Um, certainly in processes of composition, there's an impetus to respond to something whether you do that by music or by talk or by writing or by making a cake, whatever you do, there's a, there's a basic response urge going on that's similar. I was running for the west, you were looking out to the east. Bleh.